If you leave Cloud9 or close out of your browser and come back another day or something like that, your server may not be running again, so you'll have to start it up again. You'll always want to check to make sure and see if that Run Project button is running. If it's running, you'll see it'll say Stop instead. Okay, and then remember, you just grab that URL right there and open it up in a new browser tab. Generally, you can just click it and hit Open, and it'll do that for you. Okay, so that's how we make sure that our site is viewable um, so that we can test it out. If the server is not running, you won't be able to go and view your site in the browser. See, I've just stopped it, and if I go back here and hit refresh, I get this error page that says no application is running. Okay, so just make sure you do that. And also, if you run into some problems, uh, in a very rare event, your MySQL server may be stopped. Um, when we click this Run Project button, it usually starts up two things, your MySQL database as well as your Apache server. And those are the two things we need to be running so that we can view our site um, in the browser. Okay, so when you hit that button, it'll start up your database, it'll start up Apache. Okay, but in the very rare instance that you know, you're noticing that maybe your database isn't running whenever you start this up, you can go over here to your terminal, okay, and you can type mysql-ctl and then hit enter and you'll see you've got some options here. This is your MySQL control. You've got some options and you can just say mysql-start or sorry, mysql-ctl space start. So notice I have the space there. If I hit enter, there it's running the MySQL database. And then if I go over here, I need to hit this run project button. It starts up the Apache server. And if I refresh, good, our site is working. So you shouldn't have to mess with the MySQL stuff. It should just automatically start up when you hit the preview button. But I just wanted to point it out that you can start it up manually like that if you run into some problems. Now, worst case scenario, and this does happen sometimes in very, very rare instances, if you just can't seem to get your website operating, you can always go back up here to Cloud9, go to your dashboard, and just simply create a new workspace. Sometimes that literally is the quickest way to get back up to where you are in the tutorial, is just start from scratch and rewrite whatever code you need to write to get moving.